Hi, it's Karen. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to make a card using a My Favourite Things stamp set called Up in the Air, and I'm going to do a bit of fancy cutting around the images. So here I am just measuring one and a half inches in from the left and right hand sides, and then I'm going to position my two hot air balloons right centred over those lines that I've ruled. Then uh, after I've stamped them on to the Expressit cardstock, I am going to colour them in with Copics. So I'm just inking up the stamps here, double ink them to get a good dark impression, and I'm chosen these four colours. These were the colours on the current My Favourite Things colour challenge, so I thought I'd incorporate those into my card. So my big balloon, I'm going to start um, with the blues and uh, you'll see when I finish this panel that I, there's not really a lot of very good blending going on so that bugs me all the way through the rest of the colouring and at the end I actually try and fix it a bit. So I'm just going to play a bit of music now while you watch the colouring and I'll be back shortly. Thanks.
Okay, so I've got my big shot and I've actually got a narrow uh, cutting pad because I only want to cut one side of each of the hot air balloons. So I want to cut the centre panel out between the two balloons and but keep them on attached to the same panel. So I'm using this narrow cutting pad here and I'm lining it up where I want it to cut on the smaller of the two balloons making sure that I don't go over top of the larger balloon because I don't want that to cut just yet. So I wind that through my big shot and then I will um, use that same cutting pad on the larger of the two balloons. So I'm going to line that up now with the line and you can see in the back there where it's cut just around half of that balloon which is exactly what I wanted. So I'll line up the um, cutting pad now with the um, on the line through the center of the larger of the two balloons and I'll just cut that little piece out and then I will get my craft knife and steel ruler to finish the cutting process. Right so here's where I get my craft knife and steel ruler and finish cutting those straight lines to cut out that center panel of this piece of cardstock. So I am lining up my cardstock on my grid mat, um, which is a, a cutting mat, and um, using my little Fiskars uh, craft knife, which actually is quite cool because your finger just fits through the little uh, finger hole there and it actually makes it quite easy to cut so I, I prefer using this over the traditional craft knives. So fiddling around, lining it up, making sure it's nice and straight before I actually do the cut. So I cut from the bottom of the die cut and then take the little bit at the top off and then that whole right hand panel should just drop away just like that. So I've done the same with the left hand side and now I'm just choosing some pale blue uh, watercolour wash paper to go in that centre panel to depict the sky. So uh, I'm going to put a basic happy birthday sentiment on which comes in the same scent, so same set. So I have white embossed that onto a strip of black cardstock which I won't bore you with and um, now it's time to put the whole card together. So the watercolour wash paper is actually adhered directly down to the card base using some uh, liquid adhesive and the two balloon panels are actually uh, popped up on foam tape and the very last piece is the sentiment which is adhered with liquid glue uh, across both of those popped up side panels. So thanks very much for joining me and I'll catch you next time. See you.